Mr. T here with a tutorial on integration using a substitution method and the two particular problems I've picked today uh, require some special sort of tricks. If we look at this problem here uh, we might try to use the uh, u prime over u rule and set the denominator to be u. If we try that and let u equal our denominator we need a u prime and the numerator that would be the derivative of this which would be 2e to the 2x. So we don't have an additional e up here so we can't use this traditional substitution. However if we look at this we could multiply the numerator and denominator. Let's take this 3 out front. The numerator and denominator of this fraction by e to the negative 2x. And again, I have to multiply both top and bottom by the same item. Now we're doing this so that we can get a e term and the numerator to hopefully be able to create our e prime. And the reason we picked the opposite of this is when I distribute here, this is going to, we're going to add these exponents and we're going to get e to the 0, which is 1. So if I multiply top and bottom, I get on the top e to the negative 2x. And on the bottom we distribute, so here times 1 we get e to the negative 2x. And here we get e to the 0, which is 1. Now based on what I did up here, I'm in better shape now because when I take the derivative of the denominator, I'm going to end up with an e to the u in it. And we're going to pro probably be able to match. So let's try here. u is our denominator again. So let's find u prime. So u prime of the constant is 0. So we take the u derivative of this. We get e to the negative 2x. And then the chain rule times negative 2. So we get negative 2e to the negative 2x. So to create our u prime over u, we need a negative 2 here. And again, if we insert a negative 2 on the numerator, we need to undo it by dividing by negative 2 outside of the integral sign. So now we have on the top here we have u prime and the bottom we have u and our integral of u prime over u is the natural log of u so now we can integrate so we have negative 3 halves times the natural log of our denominator plus c so again, the trick here when our u and u prime didn't work out was to multiply top and bottom by e to the opposite power that we had in the denominator. Now let's look at a second example. Okay, in this example, if we set u and the numerator, uh, our u prime is going to be 2x plus 2, and we've got this x in the denominator. That doesn't work. And if we set the u in the denominator to be x minus 1, u prime would be 1, and we have this extra stuff here. So the technique on this problem when we have a rational polynomial, and particularly works well when we have a linear term in the bottom, is to do a division here. So we're going to use long division to divide that polynomial. So off to the side here, I need to divide x minus 1 into our numerator. Hopefully you remember from pre-calculus how to do this division. Remember I've got two terms here, so I'm going to divide into two terms here. We look at our leading term, so x squared divided by x is x. Now just like when we're multiplying or dividing numbers, we multiply this times our divisor here, so we get x squared minus 1. And then we, I'm sorry, minus 1x. And now we subtract. So x squared minus x squared is 0, and 2x minus a negative 1x is 3x. We carry down our next term. Now we divide x minus 1 into this. It goes 3 times. And we get 3x minus 3, and now we have to subtract again. 
So this cancels out and we get 5 minus a negative 3 was 8, which is the remainder. Now the way we write the remainder is over what we divided. So by doing long division, we have rewritten our integrand here to be x plus 3 plus 8 over x minus 1. Now using our sum and difference rule, we can break this up into three integrals. Here we can use our normal power rule, so we get x squared over 2. And our integral of a constant is going to be 3x. And here u is x minus 1. So u prime is 1. And we bring this 8 out front. So now we end up with 8 times the ln of x minus 1. And then for the three integrations, we add our integration constant. And that's about all we can do with this. So again, this would be our indefinite integral for our problem up here. So we've learned two skills today. We have learned multiplying by e to some power over e to some power, where we take the opposite and we learned about using long division to divide out these polynomials. Good luck!